Hello Mr. Newton here, so this is the um, Sims 1 using the same game but the old .exe file as we can see there are two mouses, it's the one to the right that is the real one, the other one is a buggy one so I can still click on all that but it's buggy graphical bugs, we'll start the same family and here we can see that we can zoom in more, we still have only three zoom in levels, we have this one which is the middle option in the widescreen patcher then we have this one which is the maximum zoom in then we have this one so they removed uh, I mean in, in the original game we had these three options so this is the middle one when using the widescreen patcher this is the maximum zoom in and this one has been re replaced with a another zoom out one and as you can see the game looks awesome when zoomed in like this I would like the widescreen patcher to create an exe file that still kept this version of the zoom in zoom out modes in other words we can zoom in way more in the original game and in in, in the in the patched version of the game if I use the old .exe file the problem is that um, we have graphical issues when using the old .exe file and I also need to use NVIDIA Shadow Play Recorder to record you can see here when I move the mouse we have graphical issues and uh, when I zoom in we can see that the models look awesome just like in I believe uh, <coughs> in Simit 1 we see that the face is bigger and uh, looks awesome too. The resolution is great using my NVIDIA graphics card, 780 graphics card. Pretty old from 2013, but great for this game. You can see that the white screen patcher enhances the graphics a lot. But unfortunately, they decided to repl re replace this maximum zoom in level with another third zoom out, which would uh, allow you to see this square even more up close uh, I'm one of those uh, people that prefer having a third zoom in where I can look at characters up close you see if, if we have the maximum zoom in of the widescreen patcher we have them this small we can hardly see their faces but when we have the original then we can actually see the details of their faces and such this is how I would like to play the game using widescreen. By the way, I'm, I, I have a... Uh, my, my screen is entirely filled by the game screen, but I believe uh, the video will have a um, 3 resolution, unfortunately, because I'm playing using the old texture, so the video might have the old resolution, like on old TV, but on my computer screen I have a widescreen resolution, and the models are awesome for Sims 1 yeah uh, the, the problem with the widescreen patcher is that uh, they replaced the zoom in with another zoom out and that makes it impossible to look at characters like this uh, and uh, that's why I uploaded this to show that in the original game uh, it was possible to zoom in more and the models look awesome using the widescreen patcher when zoomed in uh, more as compared to this where we can hardly see their their faces and the head is still big in this version it's not in the in the widescreen patcher okay and using the new exe file the new exe file would force us to play like this when zoomed in and uh, it's more fun when we can zoom in like this okay the characters like cloud strife Zack <laughs> Fair yeah, the graphics are great when using the widescreen patch, they did an, a, a, an awesome job on that. But uh, the zoom in feature is really important to be able to enjoy the interactions between characters and such. I've used the... Uh, oh.
it characters uh, with their personalities and such and their relations. So if you look at relations, you can see that Zack, for example, likes Aerith. And Aerith loves Zack. So that Tifa loves Cloud, Cloud loves Tifa. Kid doesn't have any love interests with Barrett. Yaffe likes or loves um, Vincent Valentine. Vincent likes Yaffe, or loves Yaffe. So yeah, it's possible to make their personalities very close to, it, to the lore by using sim, sim enhancer. And yeah, the models look much better than in the original game after patching the game, but unfortunately it fucked up the UI when using the old .exe file. Okay, I need to exit here so, so we don't get two video files, but uh, yeah, I would like to, to see the return of the third zoom in instead of that third zoom out. I prefer playing zoom in like this. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.